What's up everybody, before getting into the video, I quickly wanted to tell you that I launched, or I am launching today, my own premium group, all right? It's way more accessible than only the trading signals. Trading signals are still there, so if you want my own trades with the entry, stop loss, take profits, uh, you can also do that via the links down in the description. But now there's also an amazing new premium group which adds a lot of value if you want to become a better trader, investor, everything, this will give you an edge, all right? You can check out via the link down, links down in the description uh, what you'll get with it, um, it has a lot of value. Check it out, if you want to join, you can do that via the links as well. For now, let's get into the video. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Welcome to this new video uh, in which we will talk, obviously, about Bitcoin. All right. Um, to be, I mean, to be fair, the, mar the market structure over the course of the last 24 hours, so since we did the, the last video, hasn't really changed. Uh, it's it's practically the same. Like if I would have to if, if I would have to say what is the market structure, I would say it's bullish, and I would say it's something like this. All right, you can see this bullish momentum that's pushing the price up, and then you have that level between thirty four thousand seven hundred and fifty and then thirty five thousand, which is holding the price back. Um, and that is the situation, all right? That's the situation for Bitcoin. And I've, I've been telling you, I mean, yesterday some interesting things happened, um, which we will still dive into. Uh, but I've been telling you that, that in my eyes, the most likely scenario is still a bullish breakout and a continuation up to 36,250 and 37,500, which is that entire uh, level up here, which is my main price target. And I, if, if I would have to say where in that area we will land, it will probably be more around 36,800 and 37,200. So that's my expectation. Um, purely technically, that's in the lines of expectation. Apart from that, usually after such a huge move as we got last week, usually the price pushes up one last time. And then after that one last time, we can start take, uh, thinking about a, about a pullback. Um, and technically, a pullback right now is also a possibility, all right? I mean, yesterday, for example, what happened is that price uh, with this small red candle that actually did cause the, the Bitcoin dominance to go up quite a bit. And we saw some uh, some strong bearish momentum throughout the entire markets. Also caused uh, so, some of my longs to close. Um, at entry, but so so some some liquidity was flushed out of the markets with that bearish momentum. Um, but in the end, the market structure, the technical market structure, at least for Bitcoin, has been respected. So um, my thoughts remain the same. I expect a, a, a bullish breakout above thirty five thousand, up to that level between thirty six thousand eight hundred and thirty seven thousand two hundred, to make it a bit a bit more precise. Um, so that's what I expect. But I have to say, like that's very much based on technicals. All right. What we have today is a huge amount of fundamentals. All right, we have the manufacturing PMI, we have the jobs, job openings, we have the interest rate decision, the press conference after the interest rate decision. So the economic fundamentals are going to matter today. All right, the dollar strength index was quite bullish yesterday. If the dollar strength index continues to be bullish, so if it goes up to 107.2 and 107.8, which could be because of multiple things, all right? It could be because they um, uh, they will tell us during the press conference that they will uh, keep increasing the interest rates. That would be bullish for the dollar strength index. Uh, the manufacturing PMI could be higher than expected. The jobs job openings could be higher than expected. All of those could push the, the Dixie, the dollar strength index, up which would be bearish for Bitcoin. And if that happens, um, then there's a possibility that the market structure breaks. Bitcoin drops down to 33,500, gets a bearish breakout at 34,000 and drops down all the way to 32,500. So that is a possibility, but only if those news events cause a pump to the dollar strength index. All right, so that's the main thing to watch. I'll try to keep you updated in the Telegram groups, etc. cetera. Um, but, um, but, but I cannot predict that, all right? It still seems most likely to end this video that Bitcoin will get that bullish breakout because whereas all of these news events could be bearish for crypto, they could also be bullish, all right? We just don't know. Uh, and that's a difficult part. Um, so we'll have to see that. Like I said, because of the technicals right now, I still, I still think that bullish breakout is, is most likely. But keep an eye on um, keep an eye on that news, all right? And I'll do that for you as well. But those are my thoughts for now. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye.